Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. I had a fantastic weekend. How often do you get to say that? I had a fantastic weekend, and I hope you did too. Back on here on the GuitarGate Reacts Request page uh, for the members that take my lessons and courses. You get to pick what comes next on YouTube. Skinner82, Chris Skinner from Indianapolis, playing a Martin DRS1 and a Fender Strat lifetime member. Thank you, Chris. Um, wants a little Back in Black ACDC funk cover from Scary Pockets featuring Joanna Jones and Joe Bonamassa. He says, Scary Pockets funk with Bonamassa was not to like. Awesome groove, tasteful playing. Very easy to click. I've been getting recommended this on YouTube for days, so I'm very happy to check this one out. Scary Pockets is always nasty. Let's go. Not in the U.S. So many cool things happened in the first five seconds. Okay, all right, let's here we go. So you got. Okay. <laughs> what the hell chord was that? All right, it feels like we got a one flat seven. Four, uh, in the key of uh, B flat. Now you could call that five four one and E flat, but whatever. Basic vibe I'm getting is major triads, descend, whole step, then up to the fourth like that. that that's the vibe I'm getting. What is this chord, Joe? Please. Back in black, I hit the sack. I've been too long. I'm glad to be back. Yeah, I'm Okay, I, I gotta go back and get some of this. Um, uh, she is, gr where are you? Joanna Jones, you are crushing this. Dig your whole vibe, dig the flair, the swagger, all of it. All right, so, so we are right. So we got B flat, A flat, E flat is our basic funk, right? So many little moves. This, that little guitar part, so simple, so great. Root and major third of B flat, root and major third of A flat. That little horn part, Perfect. Scary Pockets always has great parts. That. What? What? Something. Something in there. B flat, E flat. I'm going with this, uh, but he's got his finger. What the hell is he doing? Is he got this bar, this, this, and this? Okay, I don't know. I don't know how Joe's doing this. Basically, B flat and E flat on the high string. Then I'm hearing a minor triad here, right? That E flat minor triad or whatever that is. Sorry, no, sorry. F, B flat and F. And then F minor triad. So what this really makes is flat seven, um, nine, five, and one in B flat. And so I think he's trying to get over to the. I don't know. That's a nasty chord, Joe. Love that. Back in black, I hit the sack. I've been too long. I'm glad to be back. Yeah, I'm let loose from the new. I know I'm starting and stopping a lot. I'm only 30 seconds in. I want you to listen. Each part has its own spot and it keeps going. Joe gets a spot. Jack gets one on keys. You got the wah, 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 wah. And it just keeps cycling around. The, no one does it when anybody else is doing it. And they just keep taking turns with a perfect little addition. Tremendous arrangement. Too long, I'm glad to be back. Yeah, I'm let loose from the news. That's kept me hanging about. 
Sounds like everybody's kind of doing that uh, in unison. I'm back. Well, I'm back. Yes, I'm... Now this one is gonna, this one's gonna not come easily. I'm back. Well, I'm back. Yes, I'm back. Well, I'm back. <laughs> It's both. Yes, I'm back. Well, I'm back. Yes, I'm back. I'm... All right, so it's it's like in it's like in force, like. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that, but basically. But then also over. This. It's it's something like that. I know that that's not totally correct, but um, we got to keep going. Back, 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 back. Something is weird in there. I'm feeling I'm feeling a D flat major. Maybe it's sus. It's not minor. I'm missing something in there, but you're clearly getting this back to A flat. Let's groove. Perfect guitar part. She just gives him. She's like, uh huh. Uh huh. Yes! that gives Joe Bonamassa crap needs to seriously check their head. Um, that wasn't just great touch and great tone or whatever, but he was like really saying something. There was that little uh, that little nod to Albert King in there. Dude, I hear you. Uh, Joe is such, such a tasty player. He fits perfectly with this band. And you can look at the body language and the eye contact. Look at the bass player right there. Of everybody in the band watching Joe, like, dude, dude slays, okay? Now let's get some of this. So we're shooting, we're shooting for A flat. Okay.
So <laughs> what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is B flat is the name of the game, right? That's our basic funk, right? B flat mix so. Now, I'm gonna talk you through it, but he's taking a minor approach to this. So even though you have a D natural, right, in your B flat major chord, we are gonna be hunting for that D flat, okay? That, and you get it right there. So what this is, is root, flat, three, four, five, okay? And this five that he starts, he starts pushing, pushing up towards that A flat. We're getting to that flat seven, right? And we're letting it roll down, right? We're letting it roll down through the sixes into the five, four, flat three, two. Such a great, cool, interesting thing to do. And that, the, 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 the flat three, root flat seven, fifth, right? That little pull off, love it. What was that little bit? Again, just an octave, B flat. That, that little, again, minor third. Here's your, here's your shape. Pattern four. But what's really standing out is all the little different vocabulary. He's taking his time, right? Those little, those little, those, those little. It's such a cool thing. No one, no one does that. It's such like a BB King esque kind of like where he does the, but the, just a little, just octave in there. You always think you have to have a lick or say something complicated. And as soon as he hits that, I'm just like, oh, dude, this is so cool. Jumps up to another spot, you know. And so the, that little piece of Albert King right there. You know, that, 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 that. But then this little. Ah! <laughs> what was that, Joe? That's that is nasty. I don't even know. Um. How is he getting there? Nasty Joe, that's so nasty. I'm gonna have to come back to that one. But that, that double stop is filthy. Right. <laughs> so this is sort of like an inversion of what we did before. Um, Sorry, I was out of key. I, I don't, I don't know. It is hard to do this live on camera and keep your thoughts together and still focus on your ear and try to think about what you're gonna say next and keep the flow going and actually pay attention. This is really hard what I'm doing, by the way. Most people edit all this shit out. Not me though, because <laughs> I don't know how to edit. And I wanna get better. Uh, so, what this is, root and minor third. Okay, of B flat. Okay, and give it a little pull up like that, so it pulls into the into the major third, right? That such a great little line. Albert King, root, right? That that. I overshot that note, but the point is. You know, a lot of people do Albert King like this. That box. But don't forget, Albert pulled from the top. So root, same string, above, not going to the other string. Banded way up in there, right? Flat three, four. Love it.
This is what I'm talking about. All this little vocabulary. Like, this is such a cool part to add, this little ascending thing. And he comes, root, major seventh, leading tone right, be right before it, right? So uh, minor third, ninth. I'm just taking educated guesses here. Fifth. But again, always going a half step back. So we're we're just going up our minor scale, if you will. Uh, one flat, three, five. But then arriving to each of the notes from one step behind. So here's our target, a one, flat three, right, five. There's so much to learn in there. All those little bends going down. It's such a, it's such an odd to Al, or ode to Albert King, but it's such his own thing. And he does he does the he has that control over his pinky. I don't have that. I can't do the bends and all the slides stuff like that with the pinky. I use the bigger stringers with fingers, which are obviously stronger. But Joe is so good at that. <laughs> Okay, there is a sixth in there. All right, there's probably something else that I'm missing too. Uh, but basically, what, what you heard me kind of do is, you know, it clearly sounded like this. And I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to isolate, uh, isolate the sound that I can't identify. And so I messed around with the third and fourth, with the second, with the sevenths, trying to find it, I believe, it's that sixth that's coming through. Now the voicing, who knows, who knows? Um, but it, those little things just make it. And you know, this is already a really long video, but there's so much amazing arrangement and playing packed into this three minutes and 32 seconds. I will, and you should go back and watch it a bunch and try to pick up all these different sounds that you're hearing because there's, it's, it's, the arrangement is always so good with Scary Pockets. Like, Jack just runs an incredible band. She is great. Every piece. Yeah, matching the lick. Okay, that was just absolutely killer. Um, Dan Bailey on drums. Dude, stripped down kit, just holding it together. Man, big props to you, believe me. Noticed, appreciated, understood. Um, Calvin on the bass, man, just like so, so solid. Saving those runs to the end where you match with Joe, just killer, okay? Um, Ryan, I'm such a fan of yours on guitar. All of your parts just fit perfectly. Um, and Jack, I know, I think Jack runs this band or, or, or all his bands, I don't know. Always has perfect arrangements, always. And Joe, do not sleep on Joe. Joe, Joe is, a, is a head cutter of the highest degree. I don't care who you are, it's true. Take it, deal with it, love it. Um, I mean it. Um, just so many little cool things in there. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and watch it. But always incredible covers, perfect arrangements. Um, those little tiny spots in there. Or everybody takes a turn. No one's stepping on anybody's toes. Like 
and they make it feel loose and playful and not just everybody has to have a lick. Everybody's saying something. It's just awesome. Awesome. So, Chris Skinner, thanks for being a lifetime member at GuitarGate.com. I hope my lessons and courses are helping you. At the very least, I hope you're finding new music that keeps you motivated and inspired. That's what the community is all about. If you dig that type of vibe, you can hit the first link in the description. Um, and uh, I'd love to be one of your online teachers. That's it, my friends. I love you. Take care. Have a great day. Keep the guitar in your hands. Cheers. Wow. There's a lot in there.